show is disgusting. End of story. I could end the review right here. Like, what do you even want me to say about this one? Adventures of Kid Danger is a terrible spin-off of a terrible live-action show that no one likes because it came from a man whose heyday was over a decade ago, and who Nickelodeon has since cut all ties with. I reviewed this show back in 2018 when it was new, I guess, and it was terrible then. Guess what? A year has gone by and it's still terrible. I can't think of one positive thing to say about this show. I don't know if I was too easy on this show when I reviewed it, because I was pretty harsh with it, but I'd imagine that's because there was nothing to like about this show. I reviewed the first episode, but let me tell you, that is nowhere near the worst of them. One episode, Texas Wieners, is basically a vehicle for the characters to say, the animation is terrible. Like, this is definitely the worst of the 2D Nicktoons. Which is weird, because it's like the second to last one. Is it the worst out of all of the Nicktoons? That's actually hard to gauge. It's comparing apples to oranges, which is worse. Bad 2D or bad 3D animation. I have no idea which could be considered technically better. This show are monsters versus aliens. But it's really a pointless race to the bottom. How the hell do you have animation less fluid than Breadwinners? Yeah, that show looked like limbs jump from frame to frame. Here, this is just clip art moving around. If you told me that this show was made in Go Animate, I would believe you. In fact, I won't believe you if you tell me that it's not. And the character design? It looks like each character was pulled directly from a kid's website off of the early 2000s. This cat looks like a Neopet. At least Breadwinners had an art direction that was unique to it. I could show you stills from that show, and you'd recognize that they came from Breadwinners. I could show you stills from this show, and you probably would think that it came from Pixel Pinky. It's basically moving just the same puppet around. They clearly didn't draw any of these characters more than once. It's kind of like what they did back in the 70s, because they only had the budget of a ham sandwich and a Scooby snack. The more that I look into this show, the more that it annoys me. Schneider plastered his name all over the place. Like, every single thing in the show is branded as Schneider's Root Beer or whatever. It's really tacky. I mean, power to him putting his name on his work, but I, you have to assume that he's proud of whatever this is, considering his name is literally everywhere. You probably can go two episodes without finding it somewhere. But the humor is non-existent. I'm not saying that they never tried to tell a joke. Somebody died there at this point. The place smells foul. And it seems to be the epicenter for an epidemic of food poisoning. One episode has as the professor scientist guy slowly swallowing a cat in what can only be described as a sexual manner and then spanking himself because this show is fundamentally disgusting and wrong. Please tell me if I'm being puritanical. Is it just me? Because I think that this kind of stuff should not be in a kid show. Shouldn't be in any show. This is wrong. Sanjay and Craig was gross and disgusting, but this show is wrong. What more can I say about this? The characters? What characters? Captain Man is every other Superman parody. What's the most obvious thing you could do? Oh, I know, make the muscle man stupid. Sorry, it was overdone when Drawn Together had done it over a decade ago. Looney Tunes, Ren and Stimpy, all of the other shows ever have already beaten the stupid muscle man superhero into the ground long before this show was even a twinkle in Dan Schneider's eyes. And yeah, for the record, Teen Titans Go does the superheroes causing more problems than they solve shtick way better than this. At least not in the positive sense. So, where is this one on the whole list? That's a good question. Does it beat Bunsen? I don't know. Like, I, I really don't know. I'm legitimately going to have to think about that one. I, I guess the better question is, does this compete with Sanjay and Craig? I mean, Sanjay and Craig did a lot of disgusting things that made your skin crawl, but that was more out of incompetence. They just didn't know any better. I'm not saying that the people behind this show knew what they were doing. It just feels like the people behind this show really knew what they were doing. And every single episode just makes me feel sick to my stomach in ways that most cartoons don't. One season for this show was far too much for this. And if it doesn't make my top 10 worst cartoons of the 2010s list, it's because I never want to watch this shit again. I have a burning desire to never watch this one again. And believe me, no human being ever should. Stay away from the show if you value anything about yourself. It is one of the bottom of the barrel Nicktoons. And if this show made you abandon the network completely, I understand. Believe me, if this was somewhere in the middle, I would probably have stopped this marathon. The only reason I'm continuing is because we only have two shows to go.